Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. It is your friendly neighborhood farmer Raznak and we have a busy day on the farm today. That's right, we're chopping some corn and making some silage and I have the whole crew here. Got Lag Weasel over here in the bunker. He's got his big claws with his duels, all of his weights. He's going to be compacting. And then over there, I got Jamberry. He's he's the owns the forage harvester on the map, so he's going to be chopping the corn. And then Village and I are going to be carting uh, today. So that's the plan. But what I have to do first is I got to get these silage bales out of the bunker so that we have room. I think we're going to... I don't know. We may not fill up both bunkers. Uh, and we may. I'm not quite sure. We'll have to wait and see what happens. Things on the farm are going well. I've been at work all week, so it is early autumn. Early autumn. And a lot of stuff's been going on without me. We're going to change season length when winter hits, because time is going very, very, very fast. And we want to slow that down just a little, so we're going to be switching to 12-day seasons when that happens. Um, my soybeans were harvested while I was gone. They were ready, and I contracted that work out. We've got, I think, let's look here real quick. Let's see what he, so we got 20, I think we harvested right around 30,000 liters from our two little soybean fields, and I paid him 600, or 6,000 liters. The contractor keeps a percentage of it, and Lag Weasel, I contracted that out with him. I don't own a harvester. And I'm not going to buy one. That is not my plan. I'm not going to buy one. I'm just going to do the... I'm going to run a dairy farm. And I know a lot of dairy farms don't own harvesters. They just don't. Uh, it's not worth it for them financially to, to do all that. We have a weird... Okay. Some weird multiplayer glitches here. Okay. That was odd. That was kind of odd. A little Through a little something there all right one more run of the loads here like i said we're gonna i'm gonna grab my tipper and we're gonna start doing some chopping here comes village with our first first load now we only have one field of corn to do so it's not going to be very very much but it won't be bad i hope everybody is doing well i hope you all had a great weekend and oh Not quite sure what's going on, but I'm having some few internet issues. Although my latency is only in the 40s. I don't know what it's been. We, we've we had some... I don't know if anyone else has who plays multiplayer. We've had some connectivity issues with our server. And it's not error related. It's not mod related. It just seems like internet traffic is extremely congested right now for some reason. Um, which I understand why. I really do. I understand the reasoning because everybody's at home, everybody's on the internet all over the world. So, But I've contracted a lot of work out over the weekend and I owe a lot of bills and other stuff like that. Also we got, uh, we got some information from the town council in regards to a stimulus package, maybe, and some other news uh, that I will be reporting later on in the video. So, I'll tell you what, we're going to go ahead and get our stuff ready to do some carting. Let's drop these here. <laughs> oh. Lag weasels over there. Probably eating a biscuit or something. I'm not sure. <laughs> Alright, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and jump in Discord voice with all these wonderful people. And we'll say hi, and we'll start getting started. So hang on one second here. Hello, everybody. Say hi. Hello. Uh, good morning. Afternoon. Whatever time it is. <laughs> so I'm joined today. I got Jamberry, Village 80, and Lag Weasel, and they all came down to the farm to work a little. They're all getting paid. I do have to pay them all. Some form. <laughs> okay. Things are going uh, really, really well on the server. I've I'm, I'm been very, very happy with how this is turning out. We got our little, just the little chopper there. It's it's tiny, but that's that's all we have on the map right now. 
And as we grow, things will change. Our equipment will get bigger. Village has got that big, beautiful JCB, though. He loves that thing. I need some gas. I need to refill. <laughs> it was a... I don't have a tank. I don't have... <laughs> Just a second. Empty this uh, trailer. I've got my. Well, I can run up to your farm and grab your fuel Bowser, right, Jam Bear? Uh, so if you go, village, if you go counterclockwise around the building, it sets you up perfect to back into the clamp. That, w that was an intended design on my part, I promise. It wasn't just coincidence. <laughs> I love making silage. It's, it's one of the funner things to do. Um, I've actually started, I'm thinking about, I haven't decided yet, but I may be starting up a silage and straw harvest server. I've been really thinking about doing that. Um, but we will wait and see how that pans out. I, I'm I'm really busy time wise. I'm just curious to see how much we have in here. So eighty, ninety thousand. We're gonna have a lot of silage. This field isn't too too big. This cornfield over here. Like when you measured that field out, what what did you say? Like five hectares? Or five acres? Uh, something something like that. I have no idea. That was months ago. <laughs> sort of. <laughs> In lag time. That was month months ago, right? Let's find out. Well, in-game it might have been months ago. So some other improvements I've made to the farm. I, I have this little silo that I put in. This is a great little, great little thing here. And uh, you can... I gotta find the little icon. Where's it at? There's a, there's a way to time to go get lost in the corn. So we're gonna we you can remove the blower, and then you can add over here. You you can only have and then you can mount uh, a way to take out the grain. That's what that is. Grain or soybeans or pretty much whatever you want to put in this old wooden silo. <laughs> Which is, I think, really, really cool. We're going to be doing all kinds of expansions to the town. Actually, my next I'm episode... Almost there. All right. My next episode will be multiple expansions to the town. We're going to be adding in a service station, a car wash, a grain elevator that charges us rent on what we put in. So we'll be doing a lot of that different stuff. Here comes Jam Barry with his fuel bowser. And we so will get... repainted the tractor, but you didn't wash it. We're going to get back to work. Here's Jamberry's little setup. He buys my manure. Exactly. <laughs> which I thought this was a really cool little setup. I think Village gave him this idea. So this is from the IT runner pack. You drop the skid here, put the small little conveyor belt, and as manure spawns in, it fills up, and then you just come and pick up that. So that was a really cool little addition. You've never seen anything like that. That's kind of a first for me. I thought it was a really nice little touch right there. See what kind of tractor he has over here. Ooh, he's got the Fent. You go ready. Ready. Like it. That's a nice little Fent. A little dirty, but I like it. I like him dirty. My tractor was dirty, but now it's clean. I wonder if it rained. Okay, so yeah, about five and a half acres. There we go. Confirmed by the lag weasel. Thank you, sir. And I suppose for those less accustomed to freedom units, about 2.225 hectares. Thanks. Appreciate it. Lagweasel's so smart. <laughs> all these, lies! All these, lies! All these guys are way smarter than me, I promise. They're, they're, they're making this playthrough so much more enjoyable than just me by myself. You guys have been great. 
and we'll be doing some farm tours very soon. Going to be doing some farm tours, and then, uh... If nothing else, my terrible looks are made up by... Made up with by entertainment value. Right, I'm just waiting my turn here in the queue, waiting for village to uh, fill up. And again, this this might be a little slow process. It might be it might be kind of slow. Um, so I'm trying to think of the best way to do this. And I think probably the best way to do the rest of this video. Uh, see, I'm doing this in the whim. And this is, it's hard with multiplayer. It's hard to do Let's Plays with multiplayer because I have to plan. It's, it, you got to get all this stuff together to plan. I was thinking this field was more square than it is. But, uh, yeah, I think what I'm going to do is we're going to jump away. We're going to time lapse the chopping of the corn. I'm guessing you realizing that you're making Jamberry's life slightly more difficult. Yeah, there's a lot more turning. We go north south. And then uh, we'll get the time lapse set up. Uh, for me, it's alright. The only thing is, I don't have the GPS mode, so it's a little bit hard to correct sometimes. Oh, he's freehanding this, people. The skill. The skill of freehanding it. Alright, we're going to get the time lapse set up. Sit back, enjoy yeah, the music. Yes, on that thing just wouldn't seem right. And we're going to do some corn chopping. It's okay. We understand if the lions look a little drunk. I'll be back. Right.
and the corn chopping is finished. A big, big, huge thank you to Jamberry, Village 80, and Lag Weasel for helping me out. Looks like we're on the last load here, guys. And then I'm going to do a little bit of uh, kind of help cleaning up with the bucket and such. Jamberry's getting his, uh, his equipment there lined up. Just put the bill in the mail, Jamberry. I will, sir. <laughs> Ooh, there's some light. So I, I had was to ask if you slip something into your coffee village. I had to cut away for a little bit. We we were having some kind of connectivity air issues with the server, and unfortunately, um, anytime you play multiplayer, it seems like that's kind of a problem you run into. I don't know what's going on, but it, a lot of people have a hard time. Their game is freezing upon load. Let me back, get it back to my uh, farmyard, and I think I'll exit out, reboot all my network stuff, maybe run MTR. Yeah, it's like it's routing around a problem in the internet right now. And you can hear uh, Bill is just talking about trying to get his end of it fixed. Oh, I'm halfway tempted to log into the bank by a lawnmower as the bank. Never we can just borrow that one. Alright, I'll be back sometime this evening. Night. Thanks for your help, Village. Sorry you got disconnected for a while. Yeah, I wanted to be in. I got some work on all I was looking for to behave. But everything went well, so I'll talk to you guys later. Good night. Bye, good night. Alright, lag. It's all yours, buddy. Use that beast and squash the rest of it. So everything I think I think it went well considering. Like I said, this is kind of all a new experience to me. I'm trying to record a let's play in a multiplayer setting, so things are a little bit different. But uh, I think we're gonna call it quits here for silage. I'm gonna cut away for a little bit work on some other stuff and I'll be back and we're going to talk about a few more things and some updates to the server. All right, talk to you in just a second. All right, first things first, I have another invoice to pay for Jamberry. He just brought it over to me um, for the corn chopping. Also, uh, there's some credits on the invoice here. You can see I've got it pulled up for you. You can see I owe Jamberry some money. He's not on the server right now, so I will have to pay him the next time that he is on. Uh, but I really, really love how he's created these invoices. I love them. I think they're awesome. And and in back in the day, <laughs> back in the day, back before my YouTube days, uh, back in FS17, I ran a server, uh, and I love running servers because I love doing different and creative things. So I actually had a newsletter that I wrote back, and I think the first map I ever played on was actually an Alien Gym map. I think it was Sussex Farm is where I started this newsletter. So right here, I'm going to go ahead and pull one up, and you can see. And in the newsletter, uh, there's you know some different funny stuff there. If you can, if you can see it, I'll, I'll let you read it. I'll put a link to my Google Docs file so you can pull it up yourself and look at it if you really want to and that that'll be down in the description but long story short is you know they've opened up all this land to the farmers so we're going to start farming it and in the current economic situation they deemed it was appropriate to give us a stimulus package so every farmer on the server has received a hundred thousand dollars and if you Look in the top right hand corner right now. I'm now sitting at $133,277. So I've already cashed that check. 
that's pretty cool. Also, we've changed a few of the restrictions for uh, zoning and ordinance. Uh, when we first started the server, we were limited to two types of auto-generating placeables. So you could only have like two greenhouses, or a windmill and a solar panel, or you know one BGA and something else. I've changed that, kind of freed up. Yeah, you can have as many as you want. You only can have two per item, so you only can have two solar panels. You can only have two windmills. You can only have two greenhouses. Minus BGAs, you're only allowed one of those, and you're only allowed one heating plant. So that is a change that we've done to the server. Other than that, that's really all the fun stuff. We we didn't do rolls this week, and the reason why is because the stimulus came out, the farmer stimulus, and everybody got $100,000, so we won't doing rolls this week. We'll save the rolls for next week. Thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe. <laughs> I put a link, uh, like I said, to that Google, Google Doc. I also put a link down to Jam Berry's YouTube channel. He's a small YouTube channel, so go check out his stuff. He does the Agri Slurry. It's kind of a company that he has on YouTube, and it's really cool how he stays uh, pretty much in character for all of his videos, and I think it's really cool. So definitely go check that out. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. Take care. See you next time. Bye.